Hey guys, good you're here for another TWC video, Tech World Challenge. And today I want to go over Google Reader, which is a really, really, really awesome tool. Uh, you know, not just for getting content, but for helping you publish content, helping you pass forth, you know, uh, cool stories and articles, really helping you in the social networking field. But along with that, you're getting, uh, you know, just media that will really help you in podcasting, blogging, vi you know, vlogging and all that stuff for you, you know, all creating subjects for you to like you know blog about for example um, so here are a couple of my feeds if I click this one right here if I make use of com let's say oh you know it's a really really cool uh, five ways to create multiple signatures in a uh, gmail I can pass it along by using something like the star tool this check is just an add-on I have but the star tool and I you know that stars it and I can send it out to my friend feed which if you have that synced with your friend feed which I'll talk about in another video you know the whole friend feed uh, site I'll talk about that later on really really awesome site but anyway uh, so that can help you know not only that let's say you see something like flock and you never heard of flock you find it out check it out it's really cool and you want to blog about it you can go blog about it you know using information from here or you can you know source your information if you want you want to leave a link on Twitter saying hey check out this post by whatever whatever or you can even make a video about it so there's a lot of ways RSS is really gonna help you like I talked about but I just want to show you the ins and outs uh, a little bit of Google Reader. So why, first off, why would you want to use it? Again, I already talked about you know, it's really going to help you in the whole field of, you know, just publishing content. Now, I know some of you like a desktop reader. That's exactly how I was. I used uh, a program called Feed Reader before I used Google uh, Reader. And a couple videos by Mobile Phone 2003 and some other people really persuaded me just to try out Google Reader. And really, you know, what I do is I use a Chrome app if you don't have Google Chrome installed. Uh, right here and it just opens up in right here it will open up in a window without the whole taskbar and everything just the feeds so it really feels like a desktop app so that's that was my solution and really it's just all stored in the cloud you don't have to store everything on your desktop application so it is really that much easier um, so, but if you do want to get it on your desktop there is ways to get Google Reader on your desktop there's applications for it now how would you go about getting all this you know feeds and stuff like that so uh, if you already have bookmarks and site, this really also replaces your bookmarks because you really don't have to keep on going to all those sites through your bookmarks now. I mean, I use a couple of bookmarks out here, just quick access sites. But I mean, really, I don't even need to click stuff like, you know, ma make use of because I have all the feeds right here and I can easily read them. Now, maybe if I wanted to, you know, go more into the article, this will show me a brief thing, but I can, like, click it and it'll take me to the article. Um, but, okay, so... For example, I read Mashable.com, which is all news, all that's news on the web, and it's really, really great blog. I love it. And uh, let's say you know I really like this, and I don't have you know I don't want to always go to the site, but I want to read it in my Google Reader because maybe I take Google Reader on my mobile phone. Maybe I want to access my feed somewhere else on another computer, uh, and that's what's really great about it. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, Mashable. There's a couple ways you can do this. Actually, you can add a new feed within here, add a subscription which is what I'm going to do, or you can just go to their site and hit, go to your RSS button, and it should take a second here, and it'll go to some type of feed, you know, feed proxy, feed reader, I mean, not uh, feed burner, something like that, and he has ways to uh, subscribe, and I'm just going to hit subscribe by Google, and it's going to say home page, which you, if you want to put it on your iGoogle for more convenience, you can do that, but uh, I already have a whole Google Reader app on my iGoogle page, which I'm going to show you in a second. So right there, I subscribe to Mashable. You can go ahead and click that. I'm going to put that in Tech News. And there you go. All the news stories are right here. And I can, you know, check them if they're red, stuff like that. So, guys, this is really, you know, utilizing Google Reader to its best. So if you have feeds, a lot of people are feed junkies. I'm a feed junkie. I have, you know, over a 1,000 unread. You know, really just utilize it to however you want to really, you know, take it and then if you want to set up you know all this trends and all that stuff really uh, go ahead go go for it um you know mess around with your settings it's really really cool guys uh but yeah I mean maybe you guys can just have this on the side and really just check it out whenever you have time to I mean don't get you know obviously don't get addicted to it close every don't get addicted by all the feeds but um there's a mark all is red refresh feed settings uh unsubscribe rename subscription you can make these type of folders to keep them organized, which is what I do. And guys, this is a really great way not to only get, like I said, content, but to get alerts right on the fly to push out to your social networks like Twitter, you know, Facebook, MySpace, whatever you want to put it. So guys, really take advantage of Google Reader. It's going to help you in uh, making, producing content, whether it be blog posts or whatever. Um, and again, lastly, I wanted to cover, if you do get Google Reader, there's an iGoogle app, 
which it just puts all of it, all your things summed up in right here, and you can go to tech news, and you know, all items, YouTube channels, and it's all just summed up in this one little gadget for iGoogle. So it really is uh, really, really convenient, guys. So hope you have a Gmail account, like I said in the other video, and hope you can get Google Reader working. And uh, yeah, so f stay tuned for more uh, Google networking, you know, docs and stuff like that videos coming up very soon, guys. Thanks for listening, and uh, keep up with the challenge, guys. Don't forget to check out the site at adrianstech.com and tuckgeek.com slash twc. Feel free to leave comments on the blog, and as well as comment, rate, subscribe on this video. Thanks, guys.